Alright, what's going on guys? So, uh, yeah, back at you guys with another one. Um, yeah, so this game going to be relatively short, 7 minutes, 2 seconds. Um, probably could have saved a little bit more time, but uh, basically I just cut a lot of stuff. Um, I'm leaving a lot of things in at normal speed um, and just basically cut out everything that I would have ordinarily put on 2x speed. Um, this is another game like all the other ones where in ranked um, if you want to get big damage numbers it's got to be poke damage you got to get a sniper rifle out at least on this map anyways you got to get a sniper rifle out and just you know shoot from some long range and get that damage up if you want to get damage uh, the second part of it is if you want to get high in rank um, as in top three you need to pay attention to positioning so sniping plus paying attention to positioning can result in some games like the one you're about to see here um, gonna be a drastic cut here but uh, in the meantime, this is my team. As you can see, I don't know these two, um, and they're at the bottom of of the of the ranks. So should be interesting. And we're playing against a diamond player. So big cut here. Probably should have put a transition in. Better than that, but it's all good. Um, as you can see, the rings have already started closing in. But we literally ended up on drop. You can see I've got no kills, no assists. They just told me there's an enemy above me. We didn't get in any fights. We landed at the train station. Uh, looted up, headed this way, looted this entire complex, and uh, are now on our way out. Um, but yeah, so this is the game, the official game, you can see at where I'm at uh, right now in the rank, that I finally, I believe this was the first time ever that I made it into Diamond. And it's funny, because it's, it's an okay game, don't get me wrong, it's not, <laughs> it's by no means a good game, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Like right here all those flatline shots boy I whiffed like half of them I should have just pulled the triple take out as you can see here I was getting ready to go uh, mess up that that guy there that revenant and uh, but I instead decided to go up here and help lifeline and well regret it now because she downs them the second I head up here but yeah we're gonna do another cut here um, we looted up for a while as you can tell and rezzed our teammate and he got fully healed before the Revenant decided to come back and uh, be the last one in the squad. After that, we looted up, headed through the tunnel, and here we are. And uh, I hate to tell you guys this, there's going to be another cut here here in a second. We looted up that squad, and um, we started making our way. Oh, I thought I made a cut sooner than that. Oh, wait, no, there's another team that comes and attacks us from in tunnel. We ran straight through there a minute ago, and I'm guessing they're coming in from like Mirage Voyage area. But yeah, I get a few sniper shots in here. Again, that poke damage, man, it's crucial. Crucial if you want those high damage scores. But yeah, cut here. This is where we went. We stayed up here on the tower. This is where, pretty much other than the very last kills of the game, this is where we spent the entirety of our time. Up here on the tower, just poking away. Um, as you can see, I've only got 25 shots plus, or I guess... I've got, I'm gonna, now I have 30 shots left um, in this sniper rifle, so... I'm luckily me being Rampart. Uh, I've got a machine gun to back me up if I uh, if I can't uh, use the sniper. So yeah, just stayed up here poking some people. Uh, so yeah, you guys get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of all these terrible sniper shots that I whiff. There's some that are there's just, there's some good sniper shots in here. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm not saying I'm a bad sniper. I'm just saying that like some of these shots were were not good. <laughs> we're really not good. Um, but yeah, I believe once we get to the end of this segment of the clip, um, you'll, you'll have, yeah, this segment coming up, we were engaging here, um, and then we have a long period where it's just going to be no cuts, because this is, this coming up clip is where all the combat happens, uh, I guess not all the combat, but a large portion of the combat. So yeah, start shooting at this team again. I'm pretty sure that's the same team that I said came from Mirage Voyage earlier. I'm pretty sure that's the same team. Um, but yeah, we get a little bit more poke damage in on them. And there's the cut. And now the ring is closing. We've got 10 seconds till the ring starts closing. So everybody decided to move um, at the same time. And uh, that's an excellent opportunity for me to just soften everybody right up. <laughs> they tried to smoke us out so we couldn't see anything. But uh, unfortunately, Bangalore... Uh, shot the smoke a little too high and so we can still see a touch of stuff but I mean I guess she did I mean we could still see but I guess she ultimately achieved her goal because we didn't land any shots so yeah that's the thing 
But yeah, no, nah, if you'll notice, a lot of the times, even though I've got all these barriers set up, I, I tend to not snipe through the barrier, um, just because it does slow down the projectile. And that tends to be a problem with me when it comes to sniping, because it throws me off just enough. Like, I get used to using a gun, so I get used to using the triple take or the flat, or not the flat line, wow. The triple take, I thought of that because it's right there. I get used to using the triple take or the longbow or the sentinel, and then, like, I'm used to that weapon, so whenever I pick it up, I aim as if, I say that as I whiff all these shots. Um, but yeah, I get used to aiming with that weapon. So then whenever you change how that weapon shoots, it throws me off. So I tend to not snipe specifically. If I'm going to lay down fire, like with the machine gun here, you know, it's not a problem. But whenever I'm trying to snipe, it throws me off a little bit. But yeah, getting up here on the machine gun, uh, we have nobody at our backs. And, you know, we're still in ring up on this tower. So like I said, just stayed up here, did some poke damage, get some quick knocks with the machine gun. And... You know, luckily, being Rampart, you can put three machine guns up, which is a bit ridiculous. So we had, uh, you know, just about everything covered. That was the last cut before I think we're getting to, like, the final cuts of the game. But yeah, everybody's down there. There's a squad below us. You can see that Crypto Drone went below us, but um, they pushed in. So this is, uh, this is the last squad. I think I don't even... I think I walk away with, like, four kills. So I don't even walk away with max kills and assists. Unfortunately, but it's still enough to throw me over the edge. Oh wait, no, I did get an assist. So yeah, I maxed out points. And uh, here's the score. You'll see me rank up to platinum, platinum. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Hope to see you guys on my live channel. Peace.